And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the uh, European uh, Cruiserweight Champion, uh, David Haymaker Hayes! The path to glory begins with revenge! Yep, amen. Make some noise! His own music made for the charismatic and classy European cruiserweight champion David Hay. Explosive power, big height. Step along that road, probably the toughest opponent he has faced as a pro. This will be a test. Tonight we may well find out a couple of things about David Hay. Is he stamina suspect? How is his chin? How is his overall toughness? Because this could prove a grueling fight for him. A contest of 12 three-minute rounds to decide the Cruiserweight Championship of Europe and the final eliminator for the WBC Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Between and introducing the boxers, and firstly, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white black trunks, he comes from Milan in Italy. He weighed in at 14 stone, two pounds, two ounces, and comes to the ring tonight undefeated in the professional. 21 wins from 21 contests, nine wins coming by way of knockout. He's rated at number three by the WBC and is the WBC international champion. And tonight, the challenger for the title, please welcome from Italy, Giacobbe Fragomelli. And across the ring in the blue corner, wearing the all black trunks, fighting from Bermondsey. He weighed in at 14 stone, four pound. He holds an 18 fight record, 17 wins, 16 wins, coming by way of knockout with just one solitary loss. Ranked by the WBC at number two, he's the reigning cruiserweight champion of Europe. Tonight, making the third defense of his title, presenting London's very own, David Haymaker Hay! I spoke to both of you in the dressing room. Obey my commands at all time, protect yourself at all time. Give the best you can, shake hands. Championship of Europe. Third defense of his uh, cherished European cruiser belt, belt for David Hay. He's complaining the photographers were too close. What's this Italian got? He's unbeaten in 21, but he is old. And how much mentally will the victory back in 1999 help Fragomini? Or Jim, was that just a long time ago? It was a long time ago, but we have to remember he was a fully mature man at that time. He was only a boy. But I tell you, this is a positive start from the visitor. We have to expect him to come forward. He's wasting his time coming here if he's not going to try to march forward. But this is positive. Nice right hand from here. Good uppercut. Left and right from David Hay. Looking for the body, this physical size difference. Really apparent, close in at ringside. See, Fragameni has been able to has been able to take fighters' punches on his forehead as he marches forward, but I don't think he's ever faced anyone with the raw power of he. He can knock him out with punches to the forehead, so he may have to try something else. 16 knockouts in 17 wins for David Hay. He says he's been able to punch since he was a three-year-old boy. Marauding forward, getting the gloves up, blocking most of those from Hay. Trying to 
try not to be overruled or intimidated. This is a, a hard man from Milan. Now that was a right hand that he would have expected to put any cruiser way onto the back foot. For many, for many took the punch and marched forward. So how will he react against someone who can take his power and come through it? He's been targeting the body too in the opening session, trying to get the jab out. Interesting start. Start, Jim. Started well, but he had no choice. I mean, he had to start well, had to box at a pace because Fragamini has made him do that. He's made him work. He's won the opening round, but Fragamini has made him work to do that, and that must be his plan. Thunder, the third defence of David Hayes, 14 stone four cruiserweight title. He weighed bang on the limit. It's uh, no secret that he struggles to make it, wants to move to heavyweight at some point soon. And that could be difficult as well, Jim, as this fight ticks on. Yeah, well, that's, that is the biggest question about David Hay. I mean, they've made it pretty public, he struggles at the weight. He's missed the scales before. He usually gets a bang on the button. And he's been forced back here from the first belt. He's never been able to push Fragamini back. He's landed his best shots, feet high on the forehead. But Fragamini has taken everything, come back for more. Nobody has found a way to beat Jacobi Fragamini in 21 professional starts. And Hay didn't in the amateurs. 11-1 he lost in that qualifying tournament for the Olympics. And Fragamini is starting to pull his way forward. Well, Fragamini on my card lost the first two rounds but went back to a delighted corner. They were beaming the smiles because they reckon these are the tactics that they brought as part of the plan. These are good shots from Hay. That one landed on the chin. This is what he needs. has to find the target, not the forehead. Well, we thought Fragamini may answer a few questions and it's looking more and more like that because he's still taking these shots and still marching forward. One question is how Hay will cope when the chips are really down and he's in a, a slugfest. He said he's had wars with the former IBF champion Kelvin Davis in sparring. He says, don't question my heart in any way. Again, Hay aiming for the body, but has to take one to the head at the end of the third. Hay slumped on his stool there in between rounds. As uh, he comes out for an 59th in his pro career. Started here in December 2002. So much expected of Hay. Brilliant amateur. Can he deliver it when it really matters? Good little spell here from Fragamini. He's actually pretty similar in the qualities faced to David Hay. I mean, the, the, this is the toughest fight on paper for both of these guys. So it's just, uh, it's going to be down to who wants it that little bit more. Because I think already his tactics maybe have to have been changed. This is a good round so far for Fragamini. He's getting a lot more punches off because he's finding time to do that. A good work there from him. A yeah, decent right from Fragamini. Back came David Hay with a combination. He's got these fast hands. But how tough is it now for him at cruiserweight? I mean, Jim, when you're talking about going up a weight, you're surely not that comfortable at it. No, and they've been talking a long time as though they were in a hurry to get a world title fight at cruiserweight. And we know he's missed the scales in the past. And this, this is exactly the kind of fight where it's going to show itself if he's training his body a little bit. I tell you, this is not a good round for David Hay. He's been forced onto the defensive. Best round so far, without a doubt, for Fragamini. Hey, coming back towards the end, Fragamini shakes his head, says he's not hurt. Ian. Can he cling on to it tonight, Jim? Yeah, well, it means even more to David here than most European defences because it's an eliminator, an eliminator for the World Championship. So this is really to keep his career going on the rails that has been on since he turned pro. 
tells no signs that anything he has done has discouraged Fragamini in the slightest. Maybe cruiserweight from Milan, unperturbed about what's in front of him. Hey, on the back foot. See, this is what he has to do, find himself some space. Nice little bust from Fragamini. See, he needs to step off, find some room and count. Oh, good shot! Lovely work from David Hay. Right hands hurt Fragamini. And suddenly, he ups the tempo, cracking up a cut. And this is what David Hay can do. Glimpses of his very best. But look at the experience of Fragamini there, bobbing and weaving, steering right back at David Hay. And I tell you, if he can take that punch cleanly on the chin without going over, David Hay may have bigger problems than we thought. That was a corker. Right hand thumped into the body of Fragamini. Hay has put his foot down on the accelerator. Deep breath from the Italian. But look how brave he is, how strong he is. Now this is quality work from David here in this round. What a beautiful punch that was. And there's no question, it seriously rocked Fragamini. He was in big trouble there. But he, su he sucked it up and back he comes. With this kind of fighting. But he's coping with it so well. He's had beautiful shots. Now the right hand round the side from David Hay. Says his haymakers will make the difference and he'll get a mid-round stoppage. That was the prediction. We have to remember the good news for he is that uh, Fragamini is not a big puncher. That was a tremendous round for David Hay. Classy from Hay, Jim. Yep. That was the best round of the, the fight so far because he had to produce some quality and he did it. I mean, that was a tremendous right-hand punch. What kept uh, Fragamini on, the, on his feet, I don't know because he couldn't have been caught any more cleanly. But psychologically, who's it going to harm more? Will he be worried now that his power's not getting the job done? He's been catching Fragamini high in the forehead, but several times he landed in the chin. And he doesn't look all that unhappy. Benny in the back. Chip away for the first one. Second half of this interesting European cruiserweight defence by uh, David Hay. 19th fight for David Hay. 22nd for Jacobi Fragamini. Right hand and doubles it up and Hay's cut too. Cut by the left eye. Problems here for Hay. Well, no question, there was a punch in there. The referee has signaled down that it was a punch that caused it. Doesn't look a bad injury, but if it worsens, he is in big trouble. Punches caused the cut. Two went in clean from Fragamini, and it's bleeding quite profusely. And Mick Williamson's in the uh, blue corner, getting his stuff ready to work. Minute and a half left in the round. Well, this is just another thing that David Hay has to cope with, another test of his character. And I wonder, has the big round in the previous round dented his confidence or not? Big problem is the cut is worsened already. Yeah, looks deep now. The cut for Hay. Tries to fight fire with fire. But Fragamini is bulldozing his way through. And the Italians are starting to get excited alongside us. Well, all Fragamini is interested in is making that injury worse, and you can't blame him. He's spotted a lifeline that makes him even tougher. Another cracking round, enticing action. Look how bad the cut to Hayes Eye is. Remember, if the fight is stopped on the cut, he will lose because a punch caused the cut. Yet, and there is no question whatsoever that it was a punch that caused it. We saw the blood as soon as the punch landed. Big drive here from Fragamini. Just the last thing that he needed. He's just probably boxed the best round of his professional career. Comes out here and disaster strikes. Brilliant action.
But David Hayes faces a bloody mask and Mick Williamson's got a minute to do something. He's worked on bad cuts. Can he do anything with this? Come field. Well, the referee handed the incident well, he just kept well out of it, but that was the, the punch, and you see, you see the blood straight away after that right hand, no question it was a punch, and that was just the added incentive that Fragamini needed. He pressed for the rest of the round, he probably thinking just get this round behind me, get back to the corner, see if uh, Mick Williamson, that's a bad cut, Adam, bad cut. Won't worsen, I'll have to hope for the best. Mick Williamson, who's kept Paul Lloyd and Ricky Hatton in fights before, Patches David Hay up as best he can. Eighth round, and Fragamini's confidence Jim, is going to be sky high now. But I think although he's been losing the rounds, most of the rounds, I think the plan they feel has been working because they've made Hay work in every single round, almost every second of every round, and that's what they came to do. They'll be hoping the last third of the fight is what he can maybe take over. But full credit to Hay, he's got himself in great shape. And there are no signs of him seriously sagging. He's feeling the pace, but who wouldn't? But no signs that he's sagging in any way. Yeah, proving his mettle, David Hay, but walking into more as he nods at Fragamini. Respect to plenty between these two tough competitors. Who wants it more? seen his chance has he used up more energy than he should have done in the last round when the cut the cup he boxing well again right hand to the head right to the body but they just bounce off this rock hard italian who's showing some durability here fabulous action jim now, this is a tremendous fight i mean we knew it would be tough for he we weren't sure just how competitive it would be but boy, it's certainly as competitive as well. This guy, Fragamini, has never taken a backward step. Heads bumping together. Blood absolutely seeping from that cut by the left eye of Hay. Oh, left hook from Fragamini. Pick that one well. Well, I think that the advantage in natural weight is probably helping Hay here. That was a good round of fight picked by far the higher quality punches. I don't want to see this fucker anywhere near you now. David Hay sucking it up. Ruby, heart, bottle, stamina. I mean, he's answering questions here. He's ticking boxes, Jim. I think he's already he's ticked all the boxes now. And if being negative, this is the most important fight of his life. If being negative from here on in is the best way to get a result, then he's got to do that. He's cut. He's tiring. But then again, so is Fragamini. But now it's all a case of a result. He took criticism for a boring performance last time. I don't think Fragamini is going to let him take his foot off the gas, but he's just got to find a way of turning this into a victory. He's well ahead on my card, but the cut is a serious problem. And only the second time that David Hay has hurt the bell for round number nine. Ismail Abdul, four, to be honest, didn't tell us that much about Hay working at a pace. He's had to tonight, he's had to grit his teeth. And at the moment, it's paying off. See, this is really tough now. And he has really put out so much work to keep himself in control here. Fragamini then seemed a little sag in his work rate in the previous round. But maybe that little drop in pace, he's back slightly refreshed because he's looking positive again. Hey, who's the number two in the WBC, the number five in the WBA, three in the IBF. So much at stake here. Body shot with the left hand. 
from Hay. Can he second Fragamini? He's hurt him. And Fragamini's in trouble. And David Hay goes for the finish. He's down. Daniel Van der Meenen was slowing. But he takes the count. And suddenly, in the ninth round, David Hay stands on the brink. It's all over. It's all over. When the Italians have pulled out their man. And David Hay gets the victory that gets his career really firing because Jim he proves so much tonight he proved everything tonight just at the end of the last round I said he's already ticked all the boxes it's just a case now of getting a result didn't think he'd get that result in the very next round that was a fantastic performance beyond anything he's had to achieve throughout his career I mean, we knew it was going to be tough I didn't realise it would be quite so competitive Full credit to Fragamini for what he brought to the table tonight. The superb performance and congratulations to David Hay. Last time in Altrincham, the crowd were walking out. This time they are saluting their new hero, David Hay, who retains his European title and, maybe more importantly, takes the final eliminator for the WBC crown. And this is how it all unfolded at the end. Yeah, and any questions about his stamina or his strength at cruiserweight, his answer goes to that was the body shot that just sickened Fragamini that little bit, left him open slightly, probably pulled his elbows down to cover the, the, the second punch coming and he was caught cleanly to the head, the referee could probably get in maybe a little bit quicker there and save them taking that punch, but I think by this time his corner had already decided to get him out of there Tremendous punching from Hayes. Look at the power he could still summon up here. I think he paced things perfectly. Tactics were perfect. Struggle all the way through, but he coped with that struggle. And when Fragamini got back to his feet after the knockdown, he looked to the corner as though to say, no, nah, all gone, get me out of here. And they did that. But these are tremendous punches. Power still there after eight hard rounds. Tremendous. Fragamini. An immense effort, but Patrizio Oliver, so experienced, pulls his man out. And look what it meant to David D. Hay, the night of his boxing life to date.